When you start SimWriter, you may get a screen that looks like this. If so, it means that you are logged on as a teacher and have full access to the shared area of the computer. You can write documents with the full interface. You can design environments, grids for students to write from. And you have access to technical support from the web and the PDF manual. If, however, you're logged on as a student and don't have access to the shared area, then these four icons along the bottom here will not appear. And you will simply see the four icons along the top. These give different levels of access to students from simple through to intermediate. Clicking on the red icon gives the facility to write to open a document and to hear what it is that you write. This icon on the left here will always go back to the launcher screen. The blue icon gives you rather more facilities. You can save, you can select the whole document, and these two icons, as we shall see later, enable you to increase and decrease the size of the text and the symbols at the same time. The green gives yet more icons to use, and we shall learn later what all these icons do. And for the student, the yellow gives the more, most full and complex interface that a student can get. In order to learn all the facilities of SimWriter, we shall assume that in all the other videos, you are logged on as a teacher, have access to the shared area, and in the writing part of the set of videos, we shall assume that you're clicked on this button here. In the second set of videos, we'll see how to design and use environments. So when you click on Write Document here, you get the full teacher interface with all of the facilities of the program available to you. The difference in writing between InPrint and SimWriter is that SimWriter does not need you to create a frame at the beginning. You can type straight into the document immediately. I'll go to the football match. This means that in many ways SimWriter gives a simpler way of creating documents, but on the other hand, if you want a much more flexible document, then InPrint is the tool to use. So they are complementary tools, and you can choose the right one for your purpose.